Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to wire your cord direct to a laptop. This battery took a crap and I bought it one from China and it lasted like four months and took a crap again. And I only use this right next to an outlet all the time anyway, so I'm just going to wire it in direct um, rather than using the, um, the little plug that plugs into the side of the computer this thing here. I've had so many issues with it because it's so small anyway. And again, I'm always by an outlet. So I'm going to show you how to wire it direct. I've already taken some of this apart. So pretty much all you're going to do is just get down into it, take it apart. Hopefully you know how to do that part. But here's my motherboard and you can see right there is where that it plugs into. So I'm going to flip it around here and I'm going to take loose um, these four little pegs here. Actually, you can see it better on this side. Maybe. Let me try to get into it. Right there is where it plugs into. Sorry. So I'm going to, at first, I'm going to take my soldering gun and I'm going to take and loosen all four of these up here, heat them up, melt it down so that pops out. And then we'll, I'll show you how to determine which one's negative and which one's positive. And essentially all we're going to do is just cut this wire and just wire it in direct. It's 12 volts, so there's only two wires. Um, that's direct current. It's not alternating current. This box here is actually uh, like an inverter. It um, uh, ups the amperage, so you can plug it into electricity, but it comes out 12 volt. Actually, it's less than 12 volt. All of them are a little bit different, but as long as you have the right box, you're okay. So again, let's uh, take the soldering gun here. Any type of soldering gun will work. I'm just going to use this little one here, heat it up, and pull those pins. Okay, so I've taken this little clip off. Um, which was right there and you can see from the inside where it plugged in straight across so that's my positive lead right there um, let me try to focus in on that um, so that's where the positive is there and now the ground went to the outside chassis there hope you can see that and it was grounded right there so just determine the center is your positive and the outside your ground, just like a cigarette lighter does, the way that those things snap in there. Um, so just determine those two things there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this wire here, and I'm going to peel back the positive and the negative, and carefully, and I'm going to twine them together real tight, and I'm going to carefully solder them in those two positions. Um, if you had a problem taking off these clips, uh, you'll notice... The black ones here will have clips that fold up. I wanted to show you that. Let's see, where were they? Um, now I don't see where they were. Ah. Well, anyway, the black ones had clips that, that just clip up, and the white ones just snapped in. So all you're going to do when you take them off is, I hope you can see this, is scoop right up underneath it with a flathead and just twist. If you have any iPhone um, tools, those little plastic clips work great for them. But make sure you remove the battery if you're going to use a screwdriver. But just push in and, and twist up. Just give it a twist motion and they'll pop right out and you can slide them out. And when they go back in, they go back in the same exact way. Um, a lot of these little cables here are the ones that will have them. I don't remember where that was plugged in at, but it was somewhere on there. Oh, right there. Oh, let's see which way it went. Well, I don't see it now. Um, anyway, and the white ones, they push down. They just shove down, shove down. So when you're taking them out, just put them right in the corner and just push out. You can see that one is out right now because there's no cable in it. When you push the cable in, they'll snap right back. Oh, there's one of the black ones right there. See that little clip right there? See how it folds down? So you're just going to lift that up, and the cable will slide right out of it. So, all right, so let me go ahead and uh, cut this wire and solder that back together. And uh, then you can just reinstall everything backwards. I didn't take it the time to show you how to take it apart, because not everybody has the same type of laptop. They're all the same. Just pretty much get to the spot where it plugs in the power cord, and... Uh, unscrew everything till you get to that point and if you need to of course make a small video or take a picture as you take something off take another picture so that you know how to put it back together don't be afraid to attempt this at home um, if you ruin anything it's on you so be very careful but uh, I think that you guys can do it
Um, and of course, you're doing exactly what I love, saving money. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and get these soldered on there. Okay, so now I've got my wires on there. I went ahead and used this piece of wire because it's thin and it's copper. Copper likes to stick a lot better. My, my negative, I was able to poke through that hole, so that's going to hold pretty good anyway. But the positive just lays across there, so I wanted to use a copper wire rather than uh, the steel wire that is coming with it, and then I'll wire those together. Um, and of course, I use the one with the line for positive to remember. I've cut this end because I'm going to feed it through that hole there, um, you know, so that way it, it just hangs out of there. And, and I don't have to try to feed these ones through and, and then solder it on. So I've done that. So now you can see where I have some exposed wire. Let me try to clear that up a little bit. There we go. And um, uh, I don't want this touching anything going back and forth. So now I'm just going to go in the house and, and find a crayon. Uh, anything but a pink one, of course. And uh, just melt a crayon there and just seal that, you know, just so that it doesn't touch anything. So let me grab that crayon. And you can use a lighter and just light it like a candle and it'll drip on it. Or you can use your soldering gun since you just have it out and, and wipe it all over it. But just sop it up with some wax and, and that'll help keep it to where it's, it's protected and it don't, uh, don't touch anything. So let me do that and then we'll feed the wire through there and we'll reassemble this. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this. Just hold the lighter up over it like that and you'll see it'll drip. It's nice little drips just like that. Just and you can use a soldering iron too if you want, but I just do it like that. It doesn't take much of a crayon and, and I just sop it up real good. Use the blue one. And you can see there it doesn't matter if you get it on everything else because it's not um it's not gonna carry a voltage or current or whatever through it. I can't get that to focus for you, but um, anyway, so I just dripped a crayon on there, and that sealed it really good and waxed it up. Oh, I see a little spot right there where I need to put another drop, so I'll do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the wires in there backwards, uh, like I said, right through that hole and assemble it again. So we'll try it out. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why you would have to do this. My particular reason is I have a projector that works on a VGA, and I'm going to hook it up to this and project it on the outside of the wall so here in the summer the kids can watch cartoons and stuff outside on a large projection kind of like an outside movie theater um, so I really don't need to worry about uh, doing this fancy and and I, I know everybody's going to have their comments because everybody's much more professional with this than I am you know me I just try anything so um, if you have any comments like that go ahead because they're going to help I'm not going to uh, say anything bad like I normally do. Shut up. Don't make those comments. I'm going to delete you or whatever. I'll let you make whatever comments you want on here to help everybody else because I know you're not doing this like I am just so it can sit outside in a box and project a wall on the, or a, a show on the television. I mean on the on the side of the house. So uh, go ahead and leave whatever comments you have. If, if you can help somebody else, that would be great. So all right, let me drop another drop there and put this back together. Okay, so there it is. Um, it just came on. There's our wires coming out the side of it there into our box, and then, of course, I plugged it in. Um, one of the things I didn't show you that I did was right when I pulled this through, right at the bottom of it where it was soldered, I tied a knot. So if we're pulling on this by accident, and with all the children I have, they're going to pull on it, I'm pulling on the knot rather than the connection. So uh, put a little knot there. So it looks like this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and go get the projector now, hook it up to the VGA, and now I can just run um, an electrical outlet outside, and it'll have two plugs on it, one for my projector and one for this. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm taking that old speaker right there, and I'm going to wire it into the audio here, and I'm, I'm sure you guys probably know how to do that, but if you don't, uh, I'll make a video for that too. So now I can plug that speaker into here. I can hook up my um, projector to it, and we can play a, a older movie, cartoon, whatever, um, on the side of the house. So I'll make a video for that for you guys, too. So for now, I hope this helped you out. No more batteries. I'm done with the batteries. Um, where am I? F2. I'm done with the batteries now. I'll never buy another battery for this thing. So I hope this helped you out. Have a good day.
he's on the main deck and by your car. Right in class, right in class. How was your uh, last ride in before the summer, Nick?